Hello. The following resource is available on www.eclassroom.co.za. Okay, we, uh, are, we, I'm just quickly going to go through the worksheet available for you. Please remember that before you watch this video, please first attempt to do the work yourself. Right, so let's quickly look at question one. It says below is the income bank statement from Johnny's savings account. Use the information given below to answer the questions that follow. Right, so we have an opening balance, that's the amount of money that you start with at the beginning of the month. Um, interest on the credit balance, so that's the amount of money that you receive from, from the bank. <coughs> Check um, savings deposit. So this is an amount of money that you um, deposited into your bank account. Purchase. So you went to the store and you bought an item that was worth 444 rand 27 cents. Deposit. Okay, so that amount was left open. Purchase and the closing balance. How much money did Johnny deposit on the 18th of October 2013? So you have to calculate what this amount is. So what you would do is you would take, remember the balance is the amount of money that is in your bank account. So you take the amount of money in your bank account that you, that you had on the 18th and you subtract the amount of money that you had on the 10th and that will give you the amount of money that you that uh, the amount of money that you uh, deposited on the 18th of October so quickly look let's look at the memo okay so what um, what they did is you take the 5,345 minus the 5,050 rand, 45 cents, um, and that gives you 250 rand. Now remember, we always subtract a smaller amount from a larger amount, otherwise we get a negative answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. <coughs> okay, what is the closing balance for Johnny's account? Okay, so what you do is you take the 5,345 cents and you subtract the 685 rand because that was a purchase, so your money decrease and that gives you the balance on the 23rd and because you didn't do any other transactions, that's also your closing balance. So let's look at the memo. Okay. So do you see, you take the 5,300 Rand, subtract the 685 Rand, and that gives you 4,615 4, Rand, 45 cents. Question C. Use the tariffs below to calculate how much interest Johnny will earn on his closing balance for October 2013. Calculate the closing balance on Johnny's account after adding the interest. Okay, so they say if you have between one rand and a thousand four hundred and ninety nine rand, you will receive 0.5% interest on a closing balance. If you have between a thousand five hundred and four thousand four hundred and ninety nine rand, you receive one percent interest. Four thousand five hundred to nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine is two comma two percent interest, and more than ten thousand rand gives you five. 5% interest. Now we just calculated that John, Johnny had, let's quickly look at the answer, 4,615 Rand in his bank account. So 4,615 Rand falls into this category. So Johnny will receive 2,2% interest during that month. Okay, so let's look at the cal calculation. So you take the 4,615 Rand and 45 cents and you first multiply with 2,2 percent um, interest so you go 4,615 rand 45 cents times by 2,2 divide by 100 or you can do 5 4,615 and 45 cents times 2,2 percent press a percentage button on your calculator and that gives you 101 rand and 45 cents 
uh, 54 cents, sorry. And then you will add the 101 rand 54 cents to the 4,615 rand and 45 cents and your closing balance at the end of the month after interest will be 4,716 rand and 99 cents. Now remember, if you just um, write this answer, you will lose out on one mark for this calculation and one mark for the 101 rand 54 cents. So please remember to show your calculations. Okay, let's go to question D. <clears throat> Calculate the balance on Johnny's account after three months. If he deposits 2,400 Rand every month, remember to take interest into account. He does not withdraw any money during that time. Okay, so what happens is now you're going to start with the am amount that you just calculated in question C. And then for November, December and January, you're going to add the 2,400 Rand each month. Okay, so let's do that. <clears throat> okay, so now we start with 4,716 Rand 99 cents and we add 2,400 Rand and that equals to 7,000. 116 Rand 99 cent. Onto that you add 2,2% interest. Okay, so remember most calculators won't be able to calculate plus 2,2%. So you have to go 7,116 Rand 99 cents times 2,2% and then you plus that amount to the 7,116.99 cents. So that adds up to 7,273 rand 56 cents. Okay, now the next month you start with, so this would now be December, 7,273 and 56 cents plus 2,400 rand and that gives you 9,673 rand 56 cents. Okay, onto that you add 2,2% interest. Okay, so it's, you start, um, remember the calculation is 9,673 Rand 56 cents times by 2,2% and then you add onto the 9,673 Rand and you get 9,000. Let's see if I have a, no, I don't have a pencil. Right, so you have 9,886 Rand. 38 cents. Okay, and then in January you start with 9,886 cents, 38 cents, and then under that you plus 2,400 Rand and you end up with 12,286 Rand and 38 cents. Okay, now remember, let's quickly look at this. There's now a little catch. Now we start we have to calculate interest on 12,000 Rand and remember on this um, uh, gliding scale, on this tariff, um, uh, tariff table, if you have more than 10,000 Rand, you'll start earning 5,5% interest. So that's a little bit of a glitch in the, in the question. So now, on, because you still in the previous month only had 9,600 Rand in the bank account, it was not more than 10,000. You didn't, you'd only earn 2,2%. But now because you have more than 10,000 Rand in your bank account, you're now going to start earning 5,5% interest. Okay, so remember the calculation is 12,286 Rand and 38 cents times by 5,5%. And then that amount you add unto the 12,286 rand 38 cents, and that adds up to 12,962 rand 13 cents. Now, I hope you had that right because that was quite a tricky question. The marks would be allocated for showing this calculations, and there will be an extra mark calculated because you know. Uh, um, Con uh, there will be extra mark allocated because you knew that you had to use the 5,5%. Okay, let's, let's go to question E. Right. It says, Johnny tells his friend Gary about his great savings account. So Gary decides to open a savings account and he puts 6,000 
rand into it. He lets his money gather interest for six months without withdrawing any funds from his account. Will Gary be able to buy a new TV that costs 7,500 rand with the money in his savings account? That is a huge uh, a question. Right, so there's a couple of aspects to it. Let's zoom in a bit. Right, right. So now the first thing is Gary put the six thousand rand into the account. Then he lets it gather interest for six months. Right. So now you have to use this table, and you're going to start with this two comma two percent because he first has only six thousand rand into the bank account. Then you'll have to do six calculations because that m amount of money was in the bank for six, for six months. And then remember the question is not what amount of money is in his bank account at the end of six months. The question is will he be able to buy a television that costs seven and a half thousand rand. So let's quickly look at the memo. <coughs> Let's put it in full view. Right, so it says after one month. So first of all, he's going to take you're going to take the six thousand rand, times it by two comma two percent, and then you get hundred and thirty two rand, and then you plus the hundred and thirty two rand to the six thousand rand, and you get six thousand one hundred and thirty two rand. In the second month, you will start with the six thousand one hundred and thirty two rand. You can time it with one hundred and two comma two percent two percent and then you'll get six thousand two hundred and sixty six rand ninety cents then you take the six thousand two hundred and sixty six rand ninety cents and you can time it with two comma one hundred and two comma two percent and you get six thousand four hundred and four rand seventy six cents then you take the six thousand four hundred and four rand seventy eight cents and you could times it with hundred and two comma two percent and you get six thousand five hundred and forty five rand and sixty nine cents. You need, then you start with the six thousand four hundred and forty five rand and sixty nine cents and you times it by one hundred and two comma two percent and you get six thousand six hundred and eighty nine cents and seventy cents. Then you start with the six thousand six hundred and eighty seven eighty nine cents and seven eighty nine rand and seventy cents apologies and you times by hundred and two comma two percent and you end up with six thousand eight hundred and thirty six cents as uh, eight six thousand eight hundred and thirty six rand and eighty seven cents okay so now this is not your final answer this is the amount of money that Gary has in his bank account after having that amount of money in the account for six months and then he said then the final answer is actually no Gary does not have enough money after six months to buy a TV for seven thousand and five hundred rand okay right let's go on to question six oh, sorry question two right question number two the tool slip on the right, this one here, represents the purchase that Johnny made on the 10th of the 10th, 2013. Use the information given on the tool slip to answer the questions that follow. What does the asterisk next to the price of some products represent? Okay, so let's quickly look at this. There's an asterisk, there's an asterisk, there's an asterisk, and there's an asterisk and this one. So let's see what these products are. It says oven bake, um, something cut, <laughs> um, veggie roast, one kilogram, um, frozen mixed veg, apples, and watermelon. Okay, now let's quickly look at the rest of this. Do you see that there's an asterisk as well? And it says 0% rate is 0%, VAT is 0 and it gives us 122 rand and 95 cents. Okay, so now let's look at this memo. The asterisk means that these products are zero rated. Okay, so these products are taxed at a 0%, at zero rate. They are, yeah, taxed at 0%, so that means you do not pay tax on them. 
Right, the next thing. Explain what you mean by your answer A and give a reason why it would be would be done. All right. So now um, earlier on on the handout, it um, it said that um, you uh, th there are some products that are of uh, tax that not percent. Okay, so now let's look at the memo and then we we add onto it. It says zero rated means that these items have 0% tax onto them instead of the normal 14% fat. This is because these items 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 are considered basic food stuff. So fresh, remember fresh fresh fruit and vegetables and bread and some kinds of flour like mealy meal, pup, uh, flour and samp and beans. They are. Um, rated at zero percent and the reason for that is they either have healthy food like milk as well and fruit and veg or they are considered a staple food so th uh, the government does not want to tax people that can only uh, afford food and they want to encourage people to eat healthily okay let's carry on to question c calculate the value of taxable uh, value of taxable products that John T. Sorry, I, I've been calling him Johnny. Oh, John T. Sorry, John T. Calculate the value of taxable products that John T. bought from the shop. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to add all the amounts together that does not have an asterisk next to it. So it's the 1549 and the 1549 and the 46 cents, 46 plus 260 plus 1560 whoops uh, asterisk plus 1249 right and now this is a total okay so we carry on plus 2586 plus 45 plus 45 plus 1765 uh, so see what happened here is um he had coupons so there was a first a total and then then it continues. Okay, so let's look at the memo. Okay, so the oh this is the calculation that I did. You add all the amounts together and then you get three hundred and twenty three rand eighty two cents. Or you can take the total which was 444 and 27 cents and you subtract the zero rated the 102 rand 95 and that's slightly shorter method for exactly the same amount of marks so that's actually will save you time but the one is not better than the others so it's 4 rand 44 27 cents um, minus 122 rand 95 cents and that gives us 323 rand 82 cents. I don't know, no, do not know where the 2 rand 50 comes in. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, 2 rand 50 is coupons. Oh, that you have to subtract. No, well, wait, sorry, that you have to add. Oh, oh, sorry, that's the total amount. Um, you got a two, two comes, so that was a discount. So you take the total plus the discount minus the zero rated item. Sorry, that's how you get to the 323.82 cents. If you forget about the discount that was granted here, I'll quickly show you where the discount was granted. There was coupons. Then um, your two amounts will differ. Let's go on to question D. Calculate how much more VAT Jonty would have paid on this shopping if the zero rated products have been taxed at 14%. Okay, so you would take the 122 Rand and 95 cents, times it by 14%. So that's 17 Rand and 21. So remember in the store you run to the nearest. 10 cents nowadays, so you would pay 17 rand and 20 cents more for this purchase. Okay, then question E. If Jonty had paid cash instead of doing an electronic pay payment, calculate the change you would have received for, f oh, sorry, for 500 rand. Okay, so you would take the 500 rand, subtract the 444 rand 27 cents, and you would get 55 rand 
and 73 cents. Oops, but now here's a problem. In South Africa, we do not work with one, two, and five cents anymore. So actually, the store would have charged him 444 four rand and 20 cents. Remember, you have to round down to the nearest 20 cents, to the nearest 10 cents, and you always round down. The, the store gives you the benefit of the doubt. So he would have actually received 55 rand and 80 cents change. So remember, this is a, a uh, this is a little bit of a catch. So when you play electronic, you pay the full amount. But when you pay with cash, you actually pay a couple of cents less. Always remember that you will be there will be extra marks allocated for that specific rounding. Then question F. Um, what is the total amount that Jonty spent on fruit on the 10th of October 2013? Okay, so let's see where, remember fruit will we always be, um, be uh, zero rated. Okay, so these apples is 19.99 and watermelon is 39.99. Okay, and those, bo those are both fruit. So the cost of apples is 19.99 and 39.99. So altogether he spent 59 rand and um, 89 cent, 98 cents on fruit. Okay, so it's 59 rand and 98 cents. Okay, and then question G, the last one in question two. Calculate the percentage discount John to receive using the coupon to purchase the oven Strutgott, oven bake Strutgott. Okay, I do not know what that is, um, but you have to round to one decimal place. Right, so now he received 2 rand 50 discount and it cost 90.99. So you take the discount over the total times 100 and that is a oh, straight cut, oven bake straight cut. Mm, that makes a little sense. Okay, so let's quickly look. So the oven bake straight cut was 90.99 and there was a 2 rand 50 cents discount so it's the two rand fifty over the total times one hundred and that is a twelve and a half percent discount on the chips. Alright I think that is enough for today. Quite a lot of work. So let's continue tomorrow. Please remember to do the rest of this work worksheet. 